Hello, it's Steve, and this is our sustainable journey. Today, uh, it's Friday, so we're gonna be feeding the worms. Um, I've got the CFTs in here in the barn, I've got the CFTs in the other, um, the workshop area, as well as all of the breeder bins in the corner. So, let's get started, let's get them all fed. So I'll show you how we feed each of the different types of bins, how we do it. Um, and and what to what to look for when we do that, um, and how we keep track of everything, because uh, there's a lot going on here. All right. I don't think I've shown you guys our rolly cart. So I have a cart on wheels that I bring around um, as I'm feeding things, because it's kind of a big building, and I want to make my life easy. So what I keep on here, I usually bring two buckets because I don't want to be lifting these because these things can weigh upwards of 30 or 40 pounds and lugging them between bins kind of sucks. I bring water in case there's a bin that's dry, cultivating tools, scissors in case there's something that doesn't belong in a food scrap bucket, knife in case we need to cut anything up, always eggshells um, that we then mash up if we need them. The bin seems to... Um, the pH seems off. And then I have a row of coffee. So these are where we keep all of our coffee. All right, that's nicely molded, lovely. Um, and so I have a whole stack of coffee. We keep that separate, it's food, but I like to use it um, to kind of balance things out in the bins. So that's what's on the cart today. Um, so it's like a really, weird room service cart so we will get these guys fed so we we laid it out um this way specifically so that there's a walkway and we can get the cart in between all the cfts that's kind of the way it's laid out in the barn here and actually there's a cft over there which we're going to be filling up in the next probably week or two um and then there's this gate here for if once we get animals in the um, in the barn, which is going to be happening in the next couple of days. So I'm going to clean that area out. It's all of our veggie trays for the garden. Um, but yeah, we're going to be adding, besides the chickens, we're going to be adding pigs this week. So as soon as those arrive, I will post a short little video introducing them to to the farm um, and kind of showing you guys what that all looks like. All right, so this is the bin that got hemp last week. Um, and we actually moved it, so I'm not even sure which side got the hemp. If it was this side or the other side, we transplanted all, yeah, it was definitely this side. Um, we transplanted all the worms into the barn this past weekend so these things the only way to move them is via tractor because um, they weigh a lot um, we didn't have too many casualties we didn't lose much so um, plus we figured with with summer being here this this is temp controlled um, so we keep them at a nice nice I think it's 75 keep it at 75 in here um, and so that keeps them happy and sorry I have we have some baby chicks and they, they really like playing around with the brooder um, and just being a menace um, that's what baby chicks do so that's the noise in the background as I'm screwing around with that brooder lamp which needs to go away um, and I'll be removing that later on today but anyway so we'll get these guys fed um, and I will show you how we kind of do a layered feeding of food scraps and paper and other things um, to make sure they get a nice balanced diet. We're more concerned about making sure that their diet is balanced and less um, about like NBK values and things like that because that's not what castings are about. Castings are about the microbial life and so you want to make sure that you have all the nutrients that could possibly go in there jammed in there. Um, and so we make sure that the worms get a full blend of just about everything that we can provide them. Okay, 
So, I just poured out a bucket. I am going to spread it to the corners. We're getting cantaloupe, sweet potatoes, looks like oranges, whatever is in this bag. Avocados. All right, so that's probably a good layer. Um, and then what I'm gonna add to this is some shredded paper. This stuff is like micro shredded. Um, so we'll get that added in there next. Okay, big pile of paper. We'll just spread it out a little bit. Normally I prefer cardboard over paper, but the worms don't seem to mind. Let's see if we can get some cardboard in here next. And that's essentially it. So then for the big CFTs, I'm going to be layering food scraps, um, paper, and then I'm gonna sprinkle some coffee on top of this. What that does is that promotes the worms and, and, and interests them in going up to get to the food um, so that they can cycle through the paper um, and then kind of keeping it buried a little bit, keeping the food scraps buried, keeps down the flies. I don't really care about the flies because we're out here in the barn and with the animals and everything else there's flies and there's plenty of things that will eat them with the uh, the chickens um, so it doesn't really bother me at all because it's not in the house if it were in the house I would have a totally different attitude um, but yeah we bury it a little bit and we'll get this uh, this big CFT going we'll get them all fed and then we'll move on to the next one okay so we're done with the first one. Uh, it looks kind of like that. It's kind of a big mess of stuff thrown in the bin. Um, so this week they got food scraps, uh, shredded paper, and coffee grounds. Um, and that's everything. So I will move on to the next bin right next door. And these guys will get uh, probably just food scraps this week and maybe some hemp. So this is one of the favorite things about having these uh, bins is that uh, you get plants to sprout. Um, and so these are, I think this is pumpkin. Um, so we could technically just take these out and put them in the garden if we really wanted to. Um, I'm not going to because I know we have a ton of pumpkin seeds because I grabbed some last fall when we had all those pumpkins that we put in the bins that were sprouting. Um, I think we grabbed a bunch of seeds out of the pumpkins. So um, yeah, so that's just kind of a testament to how good the castings are because they are in a dark place under a sheet with, you know, no care given to them except for the fact that they're just happened to be part of a rotting fruit or vegetable that was dumped in here and the plant seeds loved it so much they decided to sprout that kind of sells the whole castings as a great thing for your garden because um, if they can do it without even trying imagine what they can do if you actually try with the castings okay so now i have the four bins here to feed um these are the ones that once they get probably about about halfway full, I think I'm going to move them um, into the CFT because that will be enough, I think, to justify um, or will be enough. I guess it'll be enough um, stuff to fill up the CFT um, so they're not all falling out the bottom. So last week. I fed them on this end. You can see there's all kinds of bugs um, and all kinds of worms. So that's the thing about about doing this with worms and and compost is there's bugs. Like it's um, not. See, this is the issue. This is not a food scrap. Uh, that is a mason jar lid that someone put in their bucket and got mixed in. So let me. 
pull that out of there. Um, and so when you're when you're composting with worms or any compost in general, I mean, there's gonna be other stuff in there. Um, so anyway, like I was saying, I fed the worms over on this side last time. I always feed them. I alternate sides. So I'm going to feed them on this side. This time you can see they're all ready to go. They're, you know where the food's gonna end up. So we'll move them over. Just Herbo. Um, and then I will bury the food over on this side and then we'll do that for these four bins. Okay, so these guys all got a layer of food on this side. Um, and now we'll move on to the other side of the room with the other bins. So we have 12 here and five. Those ones are all done. Um, done sifted castings and whatnot. So <laughs> we've got a little garden growing. Um, so there's a plant. There's a plant. We'll let them die and turn back into castings. Um, so I will get these guys fed. And then we'll be done for the day with feedings. So we fed everybody. Yes. Yes, we fed everybody. Um, and uh, I want to show you. So five, nine, 14 buckets, I think, that we went through today. Um, so we'll feed some of these guys again in a couple of days, probably two or three because we go through a lot of food. So, yeah. So we'll probably set up a CFT next time round because I've got a few of these bins that are pretty darn full. Um, and then I need to build another one after that just because we have plenty of scraps coming in and we need a place to put them in. The worms are breeding like mad. So we've got plenty of worms as well. So I think that's where I'm gonna end the video. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoy. Um, if you like the video, click the thumbs up. If you want to see more content about worms or life here on the farm, uh, and stick around, subscribe to the channel. We're going to have piglets in a couple of days. Um, and so we'll have some videos on setting up the pig pen and getting them acclimated to everything here on the farm. And then as soon as the chickens start laying, should be a couple of weeks to a month or two, I think. Um, so stay tuned for more videos about the, the layers. We've got all kinds of cool chickens because um, we got Easter eggers and they lay some cool, colorful eggs as well as olive eggers, which lay green eggs, which is kind of neat. Um, but that's, those are, those are still the chicks that were in the, um, been before so yeah thanks for thanks for stopping by we'll see you all later